All right, welcome in everybody. Here we are. Here is my first time explaining everything on my decks. I know the previous videos I've kind of showed you and had a brief description in the description of the video itself, but uh, everything's been leading towards this. It started out with little, hey, here's a quick three minute game to eventually, hey, here's my deck, here's a couple games, and now I decided that it's time for me to start explaining because people have been asking me why I do certain things, why I build certain things. So for my first deck I wanted to go over is um, actually the deck I'm currently using on the ladder. Don't go off screen. Um, as you can see, I'm currently at 468. Um, highest I've been probably since the second or third season. But uh, yeah, so let's go over the deck. Let's go the deck. So, all right. So here is the deck. It's a Jill deck. It's antibody activation, which is probably, as many agree, her strongest art. Even in this meta, it's really strong. So let's go over card by card. So I use two Bush and Ryu. Um, it grants a free explore. It grants an explore um, at a minus one cost which is perfect because it helps get you um, one cost Dado cards um, and just get the extra explorers. I run it at two. Um, a lot of people run it at three. I want to save room for other cards um, in the deck so I run it at two. I think I run enough explorers and it's pretty easy to get out there and that way it also doesn't clog up your hand. Um, the next card is Chain of Fist. It deals plus two damage equal the number of times Chain of Fist has been played to a random unit. Um, I run it at three. Um, good one cost card. You can use it even if there's no enemy units on the field so it doesn't clog your hand. It can help you cycle. It helps you gain memory. Um, Liberating Slash deals nine damage to a unit and gives nine life to the hero controlling that unit. Um, this is perfect. It could take out an enemy beater very quickly, um, even though you're giving them the 9 health. It's very high damage, very good for a low cost. Also, it is a brainwash counter. Um, you can use it on your own unit to stop the brainwash so it doesn't work. Um, you can also use it on your own units to gain health at the last second, similar to um, Starvation. Um, very good card. Um, must have I think in red decks so I use it uh, rescuers bullet is a new card from the set it returns a friendly red unit back into the EX pocket and deals five um, random spread damage very good um, again it's a brainwash counter you can use it to get out of a brainwash you could also use it to recycle explorers recycle Claire's recycle Cody's recycle Leon um, fate defying Ryu things like that it's just a very good cycle card to protect your units and also um, build up good combo plays. So I run it at two because I want to run one liberating slash as well. Um, I also want run Agent's Memory. Um, I believe this is probably the best action card in, in the set, um, especially for red. Um, it deals two damage to a hero or a unit, or unit, but you could, at memory seven, it does seven damage. Um, many games you could just, if you can get chip the enemy hero down to seven, by that time you have seven memory and just straight up face damage for the win uh, fantastic card love it um, I think it's a must-have for red um, moving on to the units let's do the explore units first um, I like to run instant drop explore or instant explore drops um, one gives you that explore right away you don't have to worry about the unit getting sealed you automatically are getting one um, two, it works with um, a card you'll see later, the Jill Seeker of Truth. They work better than the other Explore units, I believe. So first, I use Mikhail. He gives you ammo, which is a plus two attack. Um, I run him at three. You don't have to. I tend to run him at three. Um, just because, again, an instant Explore drop. Um, I like having those. And the plus, the ammo helps you avoid things like spikes. Um, probably the best instant explore card, the best explore card I think is Hellbat. It gives you detonation, which is a six damage to an enemy unit for two cost only, which is a fantastic. And he's my top Bushin target, um, Bushin Ryu target. I want him 
immediately to like I'd like to combo with that because I like to have one cost detonations and the other explore card I'm running is Carlos um, for this meta it's particularly nice against um, charge thought X and also the Rokoha decks having shield on hand it's a one cost shield um, he's just a great explore card he's kind of beefy for that and then so yeah so let's move on to utility cards um, I only run two Claire a um, little controversial I only run two Claire a lot of people run her at three um, I run her at two because I want to run two of the next card as well but again if your explore count is three or higher she does six damage to the unit in front fantastic way to take out um, beaters um, and just big buff cards and that the opponent puts out um, because she will do six and then three when the enemy hits her so it's nine but if you antibody her it's another four so you're looking at ten damage to the unit in front fantastic you can rescue her with rescuer's bullet to recycle or to use her over and over and over or, well you can basically use her only two more times um, the next card is two of Cody uh, memory four he does four spread damage or split damage um, amongst enemies I use him as a shield breaker um, especially against green they like to shield up now and especially in this meta everybody's shielding to avoid Rokoha um, and, sp and spike launch and everything so I use Cody as a shield breaker um, hopefully he breaks the field um, he's also could be a good seven damage to a unit in front if it's only one on field um, very good um, so I run him at two um, my utility action is unleashed um, it gets two attack to a friendly unit, and if you explore count three or higher, it also gives you flight, um, which is fantastic, um, especially against charge shot X. A lot of them don't run anti-air, some do, um, but with that, you could just fly over the top of X's big units and not have to worry about them and get your hits in. Um, so again, um, I didn't run it at first, but the more I started seeing charge shot X, the more I started running unleashed. So now let's go to the beaters. Um, the first one is Jill Seeker of Truth. So you drop her on the field, and then when you explore the first time, she gains Veil. Second time, she gains Combo. And third time, she gains plus four attack. Um, a lot of people, last meta, she wasn't very good um, because all the removal cards, um, such as Alexia and stuff, which does random. Um, this meta, I feel she's very good. Um, there's less less hard removal and there's more just straight up um, I guess you can say there's just more straight up damage which helps because Jill you want to drop her and then drop an explore right after so you want to have about eight or nine M MP saved up drop her drop the explore bam you have veil she's sort of protected until you can get your antibody and then she should be able to roll um, unless she gets removed if she gets removed she gets removed um, but she's a very good pressure card um, very good this meta I believe my other one is Valstrex um, he's my other five um, very good card flight rush agility um, yeah he's a 2-5 but with those three abilities he's just a pressure card you put him on the field early game if you don't have any explorers in hand or you only have one one explorer in hand um, he'll constantly keep pressure up he'll make the opponent deal with him first um, he also avoids the a lot of the bouncing cards that zero uses or purples using so it's very good um, you're kind of looking towards um, 5 MP beaters now um, because of the bouncing um, the other one of the other beaters I use is uh, Forlorn Protector Lucia. She turns into Demon Form Lucia on Resonate, which has flight and agility, and on attacking she does three split damage amongst enemy units. Um, she's very good. Um, again, you use ammo with her to avoid spikes. Um, also, you when she resonates, she can avoid things like seals and stuff like that. So usually, I try to hold until, or I try to bait the opponent into an action against her as Protector Lucia in order to turn her into demon form. Um, the other one of the other cards is Fate Defying Ryu. He has rush and agility, and on attacking, he deals X damage to the unit in front, where X is the number of actions used in this battle. Um, I believe. Ryu works very well with Jill because you're always having actions, um, especially in the memory meta. You are using between seven and 
Sometimes I've gotten up to 15 or 16 actions in a game. Um, he just destroys people in front. He also synergizes very well with the way this deck works of the uh, damaging and with um, Lucia and also the, the last card that I use, which is Veteran Agent Leon. He has Rush, and when he's played, he deals damage amongst split amongst the enemies of the amount of actions used this battle, similar to Ryu, but it's on drop and on the field. Um, but his next ability is what makes him amazing. He deals two damage to the enemy hero whenever the player who controls him destroys another unit with effect damage. So he works well with detonation. He works well with um, Lucio's ability. If she destroys a unit, he does two to the enemy hero. Enemy hero. And also with um, Ryu, the same thing. If Ryu destroys the unit in front of him with his attacking ability, Leon does two to the hero. Um, very good. I think he's a must-have in this in red decks and especially jail decks um, just because the amount of actions you're playing out it's just they become very very good um, so that's my deck what I'm gonna go over now is I'm gonna jump over to a couple pre-recorded games um, I'm gonna go through some of my thoughts as the games are going on to let you know um, my thought process of what I'm dropping when I'm dropping and um, why I did it and what I'm thinking of at the time so stay tuned, um, we're going to jump over to those videos right now. Okay, so the first video here is against Rokoha, um, top player, number 11 at the rankings at the time. So here we go. Um, they like to open right away, so usually I try to drop a unit, but this time I didn't. So I'm just saving, um, would you all like to save a little bit of MP so I can combo into some plays here? Um, I drop Carlos, I see I grab a Jill, so I'm going to hang on. So I have another explorer in my hand um, so I can use the 9 MP and just straight up get her with Veil and get her going. So he's using his actions, he's cycling, um, he's getting up there. So I drop Jill, I drop Carlos, I got Veil. I decide to start using actions too to protect her especially um, and build up my memory count. And I decide to shield this Carlos to keep him on the field. Um, I believe he makes a mistake here when he allows me to or to bounce my Carlos back. Um, bouncing Carlos back, he's giving me now another Explorer, he's giving me my third Explorer, he's giving me Antibody. I can start rolling um, once I get that. So I'm just going to save up for Carlos. I'm not spending MP, there's no need for me to spend it, he has no units. Um, and here I aid Carlos because he was weak and I wanted to keep pressure on the field. Um, so I have Jill at her second level, and it's now time to roll. Um, so I'm, I'm rolling here, and then he uses Rakoha. Break some shields. Okay, cool. I drop Valtrex, and here's where things get crazy. He gets a Golem. Shoot, I'm probably going to lose Jill at this, and then he blocks my Val. Um, he gets very lucky with that. He, can't, he starts negating. I'm getting screwed out here. Um, I'm going to lose Jill. I know that for a fact. So now for me, it's a matter of hanging on. Um, and then I see I pull. I actually look down in my hand and I see that I pull another Valstrax. So my idea here is to try to hang on as long as I can. Um, and I want to drop him over V in order to, um, to facilitate the win because he's going to hit right off the bat. And that's exactly what happens, and there we go. Um, so, oh, and I wanted to apologize for the sound, because I recorded it with the sound, and I realized it's not going to sound good with audio over it. Um, so the next battle is against a Charge Shot X. A risky opening hand using Jill um, with only one Explorer, but I decided to go for it. Um, I felt a little brave. Let's just put it that way. I felt very brave. I probably shouldn't have done this, but I decided to. Um, so now I'm going to start cycling because there's nothing I can do. I have nothing in my hand. I have no explorers. I have nothing. Um, and he's just shielding constantly. So I'm getting... And I get one explorer, so Jill has combo now. Um, I decide to buffer because he's going to start using a charge shot. And I want to at least get layer out from in front of me. Um, it's not looking good though, I'm going to be honest. I don't have a lot going on. 
I don't have antibody yet. I don't have enough explored units. He's got anti-air going on. Um, I want to get this X off the field, so I use Liberating Slash. He counters it, but I know at least the X is still leaving the field. It still gives me a shot, and I'm able to draw an Explore out of that. But I lost Jelf. So either way, I got screwed. <laughs> um, so it's, I know I'm going to be in for a rough fight here. Again, I'm going to try to remove this X, but he's got shields everywhere. His god arm's out. Um, everything's just not looking good, but I see I have a Cody. So I'm going to try to hang on. I'm going to try to shield break. And then I, I notice Claire's in my hand, so I want to kind of double drop. So I get the one, and now I have enough to set up for Claire. Um, so I'm holding on, holding on. Antibody to stop the, um, the piercing damage, and I get through. He decides he's going to go with buffing that X. So I'm going to keep dropping stuff in front of him. Um, hopefully that works. So he's just going to keep buffing X, but I'm going to. My goal is to drop stuff in front of that X just to keep him safe um, from any damage, and hopefully remove him at some point. Um, he resets my Claire. I don't. That doesn't bother me. Um, then I notice I do have a Cody. I didn't see him at first, so I'm going to try to save him like that to remove X. Um, now I see I have Fate Defying Ryu. I feel this is my only chance is to save up for him and Leon at this point. I drop Ryu. I antibody him. Game over. I know I have the game. He surrenders. I win. Awesome. Um, I believe the next game I've set up is a Nurgigante one. Uh, Spike Launch is still very good in this meta. Um, as you can see, my scores have been fluctuating, but this is because I'm trying to organize the, the games, I think, from the strongest decks to the weakest in this meta. Um, but yeah, I have two Explored Hands and two Cycle Cards, so I decided to just roll with it, which is, I think, what you should do. Um, don't know why I decided to cycle early, um, or put a beater out early. I think it was for pressure, but he countered me with the, uh, the Crow Drop. So I'm just going to try to start cycling and get my three explorers out. Um, but honestly, it's not looking good. He has a lot of field pressure. Um, he's getting the spike launch up. I don't have enough MP to keep going. He's just chipping, chipping, chipping. Um, but I decide, you know, I'm just feeling lucky. Um, and I see he has spike launch, so I'm going to try to bait him into using it. And by doing that, I'm going to buff up a unit so much that he will have to respond to it. And then my hope is to drop Leon and Ryu um, close to each other when he has no MP for the spike launch. But I got to hold on till then. Um, so I drop Ryu on top because that's my biggest threat up top. And I know I'm not going to quite get there. Um, he's going to try to Selfish Perdition, um, so I use Liberating Slash on the shield to get Ryu back up. And I'm just cycling with Ryu and Leon, and there you go. I went off the attacking of, there is an example of um, Ryu's attacking ability proccing Leon's effect. This next one, or this last one I should say is against Shinku. Still a very strong deck, even though it got nerfed. Um, again, I have three explore options in the opening hand. Here we go. I have Ryu, Claire. I'm just going to try to roll with what I can. Um, and what I'm trying to do is bait some actions in order to use Bush and Ryu. Um, I want them to attack my units with like a destroy card, I guess, first, because I don't want to waste that Bush and Ryu. Um, so see here is me, I'm shielding him, I don't have to. Um, I use that in order to activate the explorer. So now I have three explorers, I'm looking good. Um, and then I get a Jill out. So my, my idea is now just to kind of weather the storm until I'm able to use Jill. So he's going to wipe my field and he's going to have a person on the field in gate. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, my plan is to drop Claire, drop the Hellbat, and 
use AA on Claire. Or on Jill, I mean. I'm sorry, I dropped Jill, dropped the Hellbat, AA Jill. His only option was to go after my Hellbat. So. Here I use Unleashed. Um, and he decides he's going to use an action card, which is going to further me to use the ammo card. So now I have basically 16 to the face every time he hits, or she hits. So, and that's going to be game over. So that's it. Um, that's my Jill deck. Um, this is the one I'm using on the ladder. Here's the QR code if you guys want to try using it. Um, thank you guys. Subscribe, like, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, guys. Bye.